All right, the next thing I want to show you are the switch blocks. Uh, the switch blocks are really a lot of fun. You can really do some creative things with them and really make your uh, level a lot more challenging. Uh, the way the switch block works, uh, this first block, the question mark block, um, if you put that somewhere in your level, uh, when they hit that, it will change the exclamation blocks into clear blocks uh, that don't do anything, and it'll turn any of the clear blocks into exclamation blocks, which you can then jump on and run on and get to certain places. Um, so in this example, I've put um, the switch block down here, uh, which would normally be a trap. If you fell down here, there'd be no way out of it. It's way too deep. Uh, but you see I've got some of the dotted blocks on the side here that'll create a staircase to get out. So that now if, if we play the level and I accidentally fall in here, you see I hit the switch block and it turns those into steps that I could then get out of. Uh, but what I did with that was further in my level I had a warp tube and that used to be blocked with the exclamation blocks uh, so you couldn't go down it but when you hit the switch block it turns any of the exclamation blocks into the dotted lines and it turns any of those dotted lines into exclamations so now I could get down here into like a secret area you see there's a key exit down there so somewhere else in my level there's a key if you could find that key you could get out when you use uh, things like that, you want to try to put in some clues or some hints as to where they might be. Uh, so in this level, when you play it, you're jumping across the top here, and you can see these dotted blocks right here. Um, so it's kind of risky, but it's a clue that well, maybe there's something down there. And when you fall down, you get into this place where there is the switch block. Then you can climb back out, and then you're able to actually go down this tube. Um, so you can do a lot of things like that. Um, the switch blocks could be, they don't even have to be in the same section. You could actually put the switch block over in another section. I could have had my green switch block in this uh, bonus room so that when they come down the tube into the bonus room they get the switch block then they go back to the main level and again any of those blocks that used to be exclamations would then be dotted and any dotted blocks would then be uh, exclamations and you could uh, sometimes make a staircase so like if I wanted to make a secret path up to this key I could put in dotted blocks uh, you'll see in some of my levels stuff like this where really there's a staircase up there uh, but you can't get up there until you find the switch block so when you find that switch block it would then make these ones clear so you could go down the tube it would make these ones solid so you could walk on them and you can do a lot of secrets with the switch blocks.